Begin a conversation about pickle mango and within a minute or two, someone will admit that their mouth is watering. Just the thought of the sweet and sour tangy juice that accompanies the crunchy, perfectly pickled sliced green mango has that effect. Pickled mango is sold along country roads at neighborhood stores or crack seed shop and made by many a home cook. Pickle mango is one of the small kid time legendary snacks of Hawaii. What makes pickle mango special in Hawaii is the balance of vinegary tartness with the sweetness of sugar, the red food coloring used by some cooks, and perhaps a little flavor kick from Lihing Moi. Well, join me in the Lani's kitchen as I teach you how to make this easy home recipe for pickled mango. For this recipe, you will need 2 cups white vinegar, 3 fourths cup Hawaiian salt or sea salt, and of course some mangoes. I used about 3 large mangoes. You might need about 5 or 6 for this recipe. 4 cups of brown sugar, dark or light is okay. You're going to need about 10 red lihimui to give it that kick and 2 tablespoons of food coloring. And also 6 cups of water that I have in the pot here. Now at this point we're going to start adding the ingredients to the warm water that's boiling. That's the three-fourths cup of salt. And then the brown sugar. Oh, let's get the vinegar in there first. That's the two cup vinegar. White vinegar. And then the brown sugar. a little stir just to get the ingredients starting to melt. We need all that sugar melted down. And you're going to cook this on a medium high heat. Great, once you stirred it a little then we can add our food coloring. You're going to need about two tablespoons of this. So squeeze away. Right, and once the food coloring is added, just give it a stir and bring it to a boil. Alright, it's at a rolling boil. This is just to make sure it all is melted. I'm gonna melt all that sugar. Then you're just gonna put it off to the side and let it cool to lukewarm. All right, now we're gonna get ready to can. You want to make sure you sterilize your jars in a hot water bath. And I had three jars. These are 16 ounce pint jars. And a funnel would be easier to pack the mango into the jars. We're going to put the lihimoi on the bottom, about two of them. And then we can start packing our mangoes inside. Make sure you pack it very tightly. Alright, once everything is packed, we can get ready to put the syrup in. As evening shadows fall, I hear your sweet 
melody it brings me far right just a reminder you want to use the greenest mango that you can just to get that crunch mine is not so crunchy but that's okay it'll still taste ono ono You just don't want to get it too ripe. Once the syrup is in, bring the spoon to them just to make sure there are no air bubbles in it. I also have lihimoi on top. You can top it off with two more lihimoi. And then just top it off with liquid with that yummy colored syrup. And just cover with sterilized lids. I have a two piece lid. You could also use one piece, just make sure they are sterilized. It will last longer once it's sterilized. And give them a shake once they're all covered to get the juices flowing. And then set aside in a cool place for a week before enjoying. Now if you have any extra syrup, just can them in a sterilized jar and use them for the next time. Well there you go, you got yourself some pickled mango. Thank you for visiting me here in Nalani's Kitchen and remember to like, comment and subscribe. Also visit me on Facebook at Nalani's Kitchen. Aloha!